Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. I just received the brand new Cool Cam Test Unit from Kendall. As you can tell, I'm very high. Is that a weed? No, this is a crayon. I'm calling the police. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Wait, no. I'm very excited and want to bring you my excitement in this internet first ever Cool Cam unboxing video. <laughs> Mary, is that a police? I'm calling the weed! 420, what you smoking? The biggest selling points of this camera is first, smaller than ever image stabilization. Second, refocusing, like the Lightro camera. And of course, the depth map, which will unlock so many creative usage, not only in VR 180 or 360, but also in 2D and tiny planet photography. As you see from my most popular Instagram post and some of the six stuff, six degree of freedom video I created, with that map, replacing the background in post is as easy as a click of a button with the brand new Adobe Dev Base plugin. Soon, even green screen will be a history because of the Dev Base camera like this one. And now let's unbox this together. If you are looking for the full review video of this camera, click here instead. This will just be an unboxing teaser video for me. We have two things. One is the Kenda VR Little Goggle. So it's basically a VR, a mini VR glasses. You can slap this onto your phone. So you need a VR headset, a VR goggle to actually see 3D stereoscopic in VR 180. So that's cool, they include that with you. Awesome. Put this aside. And then now let's open this bad boy. So open this. So let's see what's inside. So first, this is a very, very nice packaging for a $400 camera. I think it's better than even GoPro Fusion. So it's really good because it cannot spend a lot of like design on the packaging. Uh, look at this. Uh, this is the instruction menu. It's actually, you know, cut this open. You see what's inside. Warning. The stunts in this movie were performed by professionals. So for your safety and the protection of those around you, do not attempt any of the stunts you're about to see. I don't want to destroy it. But as you see, there's an instructional menu right here to teach you actually how to start use the camera. So you can go through this, teach you how to use mobile app and all this good stuff. And there's the quick start guide. And I actually gonna read this later. And then this is the camera right here. You just get it out. Amazing. So it comes with a case to protect the lens, but here is the lens. Two lens in the front and one lens in the back. So these two lens create the 360 video. And if you do that, look at that. If you do that, that is VR 180 with two lens right here. So you hold it like that. Amazing. So let's see what else in the package. Put this back. You always want to put this back to protect your camera so your lens is not going to scratch because the lens is really protruding right here, right? So if you hit the ground, you gotta destroy your lens. So always have this protecting case on. Put it aside for now. Let's see what's in the box right now. So if you like open this inside here, there's this little bag. Let's see what is this. So it's a really nice like long bag to fit the camera in. So why not just put my camera in to protect my baby. Okay. Uh, so in here, what's that? So we have an USB. It's the old school USB converter. It's not USB-C. That's weird. Well, it worked. So this probably charging your camera and all transfer the footage from the camera to the computer. And then, oh, look at that. We do have a USB-C converter. Look at that right here. I'm just talking about you don't have USB-C. They actually do have it, which is great. USB-C and not USB-C. Great, amazing. So now we are back and I'm going to show you how I connect the phone 
with the cool cam. Again, I haven't read the instructional manual yet. I don't know how to do it yet. Let's figure it out together and see how easy is this whole process. So I, before that, I already put in an SD card right here. And then just go ahead. You can actually use this as a stand. Check this out. So I just want to turn the camera like that. The VR 180, I put it right here. Now it become a little stand right here. You can see the camera. So hopefully you can see better right here. No, you see it right here. So let's go ahead and turn on my phone. So I already go ahead and download the cool cam app. So go ahead and turn it on. And then first time we we'll ask you to oh, download a new firmware. Go ahead and download it. Great. So I have a new firmware. So go ahead and make sure I download the new firmware. So now the next step, I gotta connect the phone with the cool cam. So go ahead and turn the camera on. So right here is the power button. Just push it for two seconds. We turn the, you see the little charm? We turn the cool cam on. So now I hit this. So ask you to connect to the cool cam. Cool cam's not connected. So now just for the instruction, right? Uh, long press the power button to turn your camera on. Oh, I'll turn it on. Go ahead and hit next. Turn on the Wi-Fi. Short press the power button to turn on the Wi-Fi mode and the Wi-Fi light will start to blink. So here's the Wi-Fi mode. So, so short press the power. Oh, start to blink. Awesome. Go ahead and hit next. And then select a Wi-Fi network, choose name style with the cool cam in the Wi-Fi selection. Okay, let's do that. So go ahead and find the cool cam Wi-Fi network. Oh, it's right here. Connect that. Oh, what's the password then? Let's go to cool cam. Home. Oh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me try again. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really, really great password, guys. So go ahead and connect the camera. Okay, it's connected already. Bit weak security. So go back. Oh, now it connect the camera right here. Hmm. Okay, it's now it's connected. Have firmware update. Let's do that. Oh wow! Now I will turn on the preview mode. As you see right now, you can actually preview what the camera see right now. So this is VR one hundred and eighty. So look at that! It's VR one hundred and eighty. So because the VR one hundred and eighty, while the rest size. Back out, and you can see my light right here, my iPad, my awesome phone. I just move it up here so you can see it. Well, I can't, you cannot see it from there, so yeah. So you can see my phone right here, and then video. I hit this big button and start recording some VR 180 video right now. Look at that. It's so great for the connectivity compared to the Lenovo. Oh my god, I love the experience using the app right now already. And then we have photos. Go ahead and take a photo right here. Snap that picture with VR 180. Bam, done, okay. And we also have, oh, time lab, that's great. So now this is the first ever VR 180 camera I actually have time lab because E is not released yet and Zcam, I don't think can do it. And then the level definitely no time lab. So bam, got it. You have a time lab right here. So it's a setting, you can set like interval right here all the way up to like five minutes. Okay, so let's go to video. The video have setting, so hit that. So you can pick 4K, which is 180 4K right here is this 4K. And then you can go 60 frames per second. Oh my God, this camera can shoot 60 frames per second uh, in like 2K. And if you like 2K, but in that setting, you can do 120 frames per second. This is ridiculous. You get high frame rate right here from video and just you know, drop the resolution. But I want to actually figure out if I do 360 right here. So now it's 360. Let me see anything change. We'll still the same. You can do 4K, 60 frame, or 120 frame. So 180 and 360 both have the same resolution and same frame rate for now. So besides that, I can't figure out actually how to uh, change resolution. So now see it's 360. So if you turn around, so you put the camera up. So look at the phone right here, right? You see me, the camera on top, uh, and then playing around the phone. And the stitch, oh my god, the stitch is actually really good. You can see right here. It's pretty good for a preview. Look at that, look at that. This is pretty good just for a preview. 
Uh, but again, probably would be better if you do the actual stitch in app, right? Never try to do the live stitch in the preview. But the preview resolution is actually very high. So this is a great camera if you're trying to put it on the Obsidian camera right here on top of this guy and use it as a director preview camera. That's gotta be perfect for that purpose. Put my obsidian back. I still can't figure out how to actually like adjust the exposure ISO and all this other good stuff. So probably gonna go back and read the menu and then time again, you can change the interval. So that is just, just a really quick unboxing review of the camera. The camera itself can do 360, 180, and then have a PC app. So you can install in PC and do all the crazy feature like stabilization, refocusing, changing background and all the Fancy effect, you gotta do it in app. So with a mobile app right now, is the function is very limited. But again, this is just a beta version, this is a test unit. So in the official release, they're gonna have all these function built into the app. So hopefully it will come soon. So again, I will do an in-depth review of the image quality of this camera compared to the Lenovo Mirage, the Zcam K1 Pro, and hopefully the E Horizon and my custom GH5 rig, the super fancy expensive camera to see how the VR 180 quality and also I will compare the VR 360 quality with GoPro Fusion and other consumer camera to see how good is the image quality of this camera. So you will see in my next video, and next review video. For now, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to watch the actual review of this video and I will see you in the next video very soon. So give me a couple days to actually test this camera take some awesome footage for you guys so I can really show you exciting footage of this camera and a true no BS video. So I'll see you next time.